Hey everyone, this is Brayden from the Catechumen. Uh, two weeks ago, we went on a trip to Rome, and as promised, uh, I videoed the entire experience to show to you guys on this channel. Um, but when I got home to edit, I, I didn't realize how much footage I had actually taken over the week. Um, so, saying that I'll be splitting these videos into three different parts, uh, the Colosseum, the Vatican Museums, and then St. Peter's Basilica. <laughs> Sorry. I think I'm coming down with a cold, so I might be a little stuffed up. Uh, so th these were really the three highlights of the trip. Um, those were the things that we really signed up for, and I can't wait to talk about them. Um, I'll, I'll cut in here and there to explain or comment on this video because I realized uh, there were some things I had left out in discussion. Um, but yeah, I, th I think that's pretty much it. Be on the lookout for the next two parts, and uh, we'll we'll go ahead and start the video. Hello. Hi. What is up? What are we doing right now? Where are we going? We're going to Rome. Oh my gosh. This yep. is this is going to be the first vlog on this channel. We're excited. First time I'm going to Europe. She's been before. Yes. But yes. Yeah. Yes, it's going to be good. First, All right. Was the first time. It was the first time going to Europe. That that this flight was multiple flights were were very long, very exhausting, but um it was a good experience. The food was really good on the airplane as well. Um, but yeah, first time going to, to Europe, it was, it was very good. So we, we actually flew into Paris here. Time is it here. right now in, uh, Oklahoma? And, ugh. It's 1 a.m. What, what time is it right now in, uh, Paris, France? Yeah, 8 in the morning, so, uh, Yeah, the, the time change really was, sure how to feel like that. <laughs> that was a little difficult. It's a ramp. So yeah, we stayed in this airport for hours upon end until we finally took yes. another plane to Venice. And we were meeting our uh, roommates there. So they had actually gone uh, beforehand to Venice, spent a couple weeks there for their um, for, for something school related. And we met them in Venice. And then, as you'll see, we'll, we'll take a trip or a, a train ride to Rome. We just landed. So there's them. The pizza here was phenomenal, and this was just like a little. This was a little, uh, just taste of what what was to come for uh, food related stuff. Uh, was was amazing in Rome. And four hour train ride. <laughs> And here's, this is right outside the train ride, and I'm going to pause the video here. We come out of the train station, and we see this fantastic statue. And so, if I remember correctly, this was the top of the Basilica of the Sacred Heart of Jesus in Rome. And I don't know if we ever went into this church. We went into a whole bunch of churches, but it was very, it was late at night when we got into Rome, very tired, obviously jet lag kind of sucked. Um, so I, I snapped this video and that was that. I, I don't remember if we actually went on um, to go inside this church like we did all the other ones. So, but there are very, very many uh, churches in Rome and this one wasn't next to where we were staying. So um yeah, so I think that's that's pretty much it. Those that was the highlight of, of day one. I, I guess day one and two is, is traveling in, seeing the the top of that basilica, and then uh, Tuesday was the day that we had actually planned to go to the Colosseum. So this is the day where we uh, go get some breakfast real quick, and then we finally um, start seeing some some really cool stuff. Hey guys, where are we at? Yes. And I'm going to regret I, I not keep, getting uh, footage of this like main area. I keep repeating that. Garbage Where are we at? We're yeah, in Rome. The garbage cans. Because I couldn't, I couldn't really believe it. That was pretty cool. We should go there. Look at that. This is something Madonna that I thought was really child. cool. Because they would just have this religious imagery like just plastered throughout the streets, you know, on the walls and I stuff. Know. That was just I, really cool. Something I hadn't, hadn't experienced before. Oh, yeah. But other than that, 
And here's our breakfast <laughs> slash lunch. <laughs> I just thought that was funny. And this is, okay, so this is St. John's uh, Basilica. I'm going to pause it real quick. This is St. John Lateran. And we actually went to this uh, church. Is it Saint? Is it a basilica, I suppose? It's an arch basilica of St. John Lateran. That's actually where the seat of Pope Francis is. Uh, so that his, his cathedra is in um, this church. And we will see the interior of this church um, on the third part, I believe. We went here um, one of the last days. We went inside uh, when it wasn't very crowded. But we, we saw this church as we were on the way to the Colosseum. So. And these, these Egyptian obelisks were spread all throughout Rome, and at the very top was placed a cross. I think they uh, repurposed those a little bit later after they got them. But here is the first shot of the Colosseum. Okay, Very this. massive. Uh, don't think I could capture it's it on too camera. Big to get but, in, um, in one camera lens. Very cool That's stuff. Crazy. There's a picture of it right there. Yeah, it was very hard to get hard to get pictures of it and capture like the the magnitude. That's sick. Look at this. Wow. That's so sick. And right there, <laughs> I I kept thinking this arch was something. I later found out that it was the Arch of Constantine. So if you know the story of... So this, this arch was built during the time of Constantine to commemorate a battle that he won um, coming into Rome over the Tiber River at the Milvian Bridge. And the reason why this is important, especially important for Christian history, is because it was during this event, this this battle that was taking place, that Constantine saw a vision of the Cairo in the sky. And um, he, he painted it on the shields of his men. Basically, the message was, by this sign, you will conquer. And he, he won the, the battle of the Milvian Bridge. He converted to Christianity. And he basically elevated the status of Christianity to the same level as um, even even probably higher than the other pagan religions. And, you know, for, for hundreds of years before this, there were pagan state-sponsored religions, um, you know, that you have these ornate temples and stuff like that. And what Constantine did is he took the wealth from those uh, temples and he he donated it to the Christian church. Uh, they were able to make more Bibles. Uh, they were able to um, cover the travel costs for all the bishops of the world to come and meet uh, for the Council of Nicaea and solve the Arian problem. So the conversion of St. Constantine the Great um, was a very um, important time in Christian history. And Seeing this arch, uh, I, although I didn't know what it was at first, seeing this arch was very, very cool, and um, it was just very important. So, now we'll get on to the Colosseum. Just wanted to uh, insert that there, just in case you didn't uh, know about Constantine, because he's very important. I was thinking it was the wow. Arch of Titus, this is uh, which, which we do actually see later um, in the video on Palatine Hill. But now we're in the Colosseum. There's a cross there. And something we had actually figured out uh, in, in the course of this tour is that the Colosseum was used for a variety of different things throughout the ages. There's my wife. <laughs> and um, they, had, they had this information on the second level, so I was reading all this stuff, looking at the artifacts. Um, but at one point in time, they had actually started turning it into a basilica. Um, and it's, it's ironic because, you know, there were hundreds and maybe even thousands of Christian martyrs uh, that were slain in this Colosseum. I'm pretty sure St. Ignatius um, of Lyons was, uh, or not of Lyons, St. Ignatius of Antioch was actually sl uh, slain in this Colosseum. Right, yeah, so Ignatius was killed in this Colosseum by lions, which was kind of crazy. But it, anyways, martyrs... Um, I'm pretty sure that the church was dedicated the to the time, memory like of the martyrs, and uh, that this is actually a model of it. Modern so, architecture sucks. There it is, and then uh, we can see down there the 
the places where they would store things, where they'd keep the, the wild beasts. And there's a picture of me and my wife. And right, let's see. What my friend and I were talking about is they would take aquifers and actually flood the Colosseum and have boat wars uh, from every now and then. And here's, here's another picture of the Arch of Constantine uh, just from the Colosseum. And you can see some some artwork uh, on the side of it in that picture there. And uh, then there's just a seagull. That was, that was pretty cool. <laughs> just lions and tigers and bears and everything down there. Water bottle I just thought dispenser, this was but it's sparkling. Yeah. Public so water weird. bottle. That's just free? Uh, water dispensers, either regular or sparkling. Just public. Oh, that's just. That's yeah, so I just thought sick. that was interesting. Why can't you just like get sparkling water while you're out? Here's some more artwork of wow. the Arch of Constantine. You might be able to see his name up there, Constantine. Um, that's crazy. And. Uh, yeah, we had actually taken a picture in front of this arch <clears throat> a little bit later on. Dang. But, yeah, I, I, part, part of the reason, there it is, part of the reason why I uh, wanted to add this commentary Dude. over this video is because We're in Rome. a lot of, um, yeah. not, not a lot, uh, the majority of my commentary is wow and dang, and I just don't. Anyways, this is the Arch of Titus. Um, I I'd originally thought that it was artwork of the Maccabean Revolt, but I realized that this was actually artwork of the fall of Jerusalem in, in 70 AD, not um, but before Christ, but after Christ. Um, so artwork of uh, the Arch the Arch of Titus, some of the things his military um, campaigns, oh. including the fall of Jerusalem, was there, and. Uh, what Matthew writes on in the chosen. <laughs> Here's another church, just random church. We weren't able to go into it, but cool pictures. Just you need to try. We have to say we tried olives from Rome. What the heck? Dang. That's so cool though. At this point, you know, we're after, it's after the Colosseum, and we are going up on Palatine Hill, or pa Palatine, Palatine Hill, I believe, and it's starting to get kind of gloomy overhead, so the pictures look kind of cool, um, but a storm is setting in. We This museum was closed, so that kind of sucked, but uh, yeah, it starts getting really windy, and uh, the seagulls are going crazy. They're like, the storm's brewing, <laughs> The storm's boys. brewing, yeah, it's a, about to sprinkle. Storm setting in, and, dude. Uh-oh, uh it's starting yeah. to sprinkle. Well, this footage is kind of chaotic, so. Of shade right here. Apologize for this. Wow. That um, this I was is thinking like that was a church view. with the chariots and the angels. I, I might pan back to it. Yeah, here I'm, it comes. I'm freaking out at this point. <laughs> Let's get under the trees. Um, but that was actually the uh, library. It's raining. I believe. What's up? I'm getting wet. Yep. When in, when in Rome, Rome, get poured rain on. Yeah, it's it's raining really bad at this point, and uh, <laughs> we only brought one umbrella. So this music isn't being edited. In. I don't know where I don't know where the speaker was, but that oh, no. that music was was uh, unironically just this right next good. to us where we this decided to. Uh, yeah, to take refuge I mean, from the storm. This tree's doing pretty good for me, I think. Oh gosh. I was having a good time though. It was it was fun. The music, dude. This is so funny. It actually rained a lot oh when gosh. we were in Rome. Where are they going? No. They're leaving us. And this was directly after it rained. Uh, we came back right to the bus stop. Rained. And it just looked really cool. I started recording and taking pictures and stuff like that. And uh, yeah, the lighting was really cool. Wow. Um, what do you think of the there's view? The, there's the there's a Colosseum, fantastic it's stuff. It's crazy that uh, it's it stood for this long. I mean, I know there was renovations and, and stuff like that. But, um, no way. Very cool. Dude, there's a rainbow. 
No. And yeah, so this was really cool too. That's so pretty sick. I was actually glad it rained at this point because we got to see these, this double rainbow a double right rainbow. next to oh my the Coliseum. So that <laughs> was so sick. That was pretty crazy. Yeah, that was pretty cool. Rainbow. We're all like, <laughs> like freaking right out. Next to the oh, it's a double rainbow. Dang. And uh, yeah, there, there's a picture of it. That's kind of funny. Here we go. And then we went out to eat and had some of the best pizza I've ever had in my entire life. I don't know if I'll ever get pizza again, just so that I can have this experience the Everyone's last time I had pizza. I guess this wasn't the last time because we had more pizza in Rome, but uh, that was just fantastic. They don't cut their pizzas over there. That's I thought that was kind of weird. Um, so Pick the perfect week to go to Rome. Yeah, it started raining more. This was Wednesday at this point. We didn't have much planned, so we went to a Hello. coffee shop and we we read. So that was pretty fun. And uh, just religious imagery, just, you know, dispersed throughout in and outside of buildings, just all over Rome. Very, nice. very neat. Italian cappuccinos. Cappuccinos were amazing over there. Pizza was amazing over there. Started hailing. <laughs> but it was a cool experience. And then I think this day we just, we shopped and we went to the thrift store and went to get some more food, got some really amazing pasta yes. here. We are. So that was uh, pasta. We are in that pasta cool. and they're going to give us some stuff. I don't, I don't know what we're talking about here. Oh and amazing pasta. There's that. Regular tomato, pesto, what is this? Bean. Bean and then cheese. This is so cool. Look at that. So they must be really close to you. Here's another church. This is absolutely fantastic artwork oh as my well, gosh. but does not compare to um, this next part. And I think, I think the footage is actually coming to a close here. Yeah, we went to we went to dinner again. Oh, so it's the wrong. A lot of this first day was uh, was food. Was me saying wow and dang to all the amazing architecture in Rome. If you ever get the chance to go, definitely take the chance. Uh, make sure to book everything in advance. But uh, yeah, this day was really cool. Learned a lot of stuff about the Colosseum, about um, how early Christians used, used to uh, live and saw their architecture and uh, all this stuff. So be on the lookout for parts two and three. I have a feeling that you will like them a little bit more because next part will be uh, the day that we went to the Vatican Museums and to the Sistine Chapel. I wasn't allowed to film in the Sistine Chapel or take pictures, but I'll probably include pictures in the vlog and just talk about them because uh, that piece of artwork is just absolutely iconic. And um, then the, the, the third part is when we actually went to St. Peter's for a guided tour and then went to Mass the day after. So that was, that was absolutely fantastic. This was a great experience. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. As always, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. We have a Patreon now, so if you uh, would like to support us through monetary means, make sure to go down in the description below, hit the Patreon link, and, uh, and all the support would be welcome. And uh, after these vlogs, I hope to uh, continue doing some uh, more theologically focused things. I like to uh, explain things and point things out uh, on this vlog. I don't know if we'll do many of these vlogs in the future because this isn't so, this this isn't really the type of content that I, I want to uh, be broadcasting on this channel. I just this I thought this was a cool little break from what we've been doing. So uh, again, like, subscribe, comment, and uh, and I hope that by my learning the faith, your faith will be strengthened as well. Have an amazing day and we'll see you next time.